so before moving on to the this particular init all applications and implementing our launching applications and downloading the excel file if you are still confused about what's happening inside this particular init all settings the one thing that we can do is do some debugging okay if i just open this workflow okay if i just open this workflow and okay because we are coming out of it for the first time the way to actually access the values inside it are to use uh, let's use a message box right here I'm using that and to use that particular value whatever is available in the config config of double quotes and then let me take this particular thing and place it right here okay and then to string to convert this particular thing to to string and similarly I can just copy and paste here and go to this and try to access max retry number also you just to show you how it works okay if I just put a breakpoint right here okay the way to put the breakpoint is select the word particular sequence then toggle breakpoint for this to work we have to be closing down this thing okay what I will do is I will take a screenshot of it so that I can show you later I'm going to paste that in painter okay we have this so I'm closing down this thing don't save and I'm coming back to this okay for that matter let's put a breakpoint right here okay we have the breakpoint here I'm just clicking run no I can't do that I have to click on debug file cool so so earlier the flow has used to go straight ahead okay with a faster momentum but right now because we are debugging it it has stopped here at the breakpoint if I just click step into step into see it has directly gone from this to initialization from start to initialization state because this is the first state that we'll be going into so we are right now in the try catch we can see all the values available at that particular run okay okay fine so next step into we are into this workflow then step into then we can see the value of nothing being assigned to system exception here okay it is nothing null right now so because this is the first run we are we are expected to go into this if condition yeah we are into it and then first run step into it has opened this workflow for us if you just see the argument values are now replaced with the original values okay earlier it was null but right now it has some values and you can see out config is still null right now okay in this values and then step into this particular out config is initialized you can see it is initialized right now it is no more a null value okay and the sheet value right here okay if you can see we are just going inside the for each we are right here okay this time the sheet value is settings as we can see clicking step into it is trying to read the values of it once that is done it has moved ahead to for each row and this time it is going from each row says so that first time for the first iteration it will try to read the second line then third line then fourth line then step into because the first value in it is not null it should go inside it 
okay and this time I can't see the values over here okay step into so it has added that particular value right there so as you can see here okay what it has done it has added the value okay whichever is available right here this value it has added to the orchestrator as you can see in next way because the second value is a null so it has not entered into it but this time the third time it is entering because there is a value this value it is trying to add okay things because there was only three rows it should come out of the for each yeah it is coming out of the for each and then now it has picked the second sheet which is according to us the constants okay this time the sheet is constants so let's move down to the next one and step into just trying to add all the values from that okay whatever we had earlier so this is how you can check what's happening inside it okay it is trying to add all the values available in that as you can see all the values okay in the value we have the arguments and all that okay it is trying to add all the values okay yeah done so every value available in the, that is also done okay assets also we can check the same way because we have not thought about assets you can just click on step into multiple times and you will be out right here okay if I just so we are right now done with the unit all settings and we are out of that if I just click on step into see there is a value that I have okay whatever name we had and value we had the way to access this particular value is to use this keyword orchestrator Q name the way to use this value framework is to use this so that is what I have done In the message box I have used config in config what I'm telling is in config we have a val we have a key this okay just display me the value of it so this is how it is showing see what we have passed and what we are getting we have just passed the key and is giving out the value similarly max retry as we can see we had something of this type in constants we had max retry word for which there is the value is zero so if I want to access that name the naming convention for that is in config we have a key called max retry number give me the value is what I'm asking right here it's zero so once that is done I'm trying to go into the con kill all process there is nothing so it will just it will kill nothing and will come out of it and step into okay it is now into init all settings this thing we have to still implement let's implement that right now 